Hey, welcome to the third episode of Culture Digger. My name is Sandy Reeves and we're already starting. Today we'll finally speak about architecture. Also, I'll talk about visual perception. And in the end of the episode, I'll give a simple advice how to start to recognize architecture. So, to start our discussion today, I would like to ask one question. Where architecture starts or where does it appear in your life? And because of I'm the only one host of Culture Digger, I have to answer my own questions. That's what I'm doing right now. And my answer is that architecture starts early, early in the childhood, when you firstly look at the house where you live. So I find the start of the process of recognizing any kind of beauty or art in the very beginning of human's life, in his childhood, when his senses develop so fast. And for my opinion, architecture is the only type of art that everybody meets in his life without making any choice. You don't have a choice when you need to live in some house or apartment or flat that your parents have. You would say to me that music is the common thing, that music also appears and you don't have a choice. Nah, you have a choice. You can turn off the music. You can say to your parents, no, I don't like it. You can shut up your ears and go to your room, to your silence, or go out and feel free with it. But architecture doesn't leave you. You have to go back to your home. And only if you're brave enough or crazy, you can say to your parents, nah, I don't want to live here. This house is awful. It's disgusting. I hate the columns. I hate the interior. So, parents, I'm going away. (laughs) I think that's not normal and not real situation. You have to deal with it. Many people think only about the professional side of architecture when they listen to this word, because they think that architecture matters only two people that uh, work in this sphere that are architects, managers, construction managers, engineers, anyone who is the part of the process of construction. Maybe there is such a problem that architecture is not so widely overviewed in our media like a type of art, not the business process. And I had a really lucky day for such an opportunity to open up the architecture for myself. I went to some photo, maybe exhibition, I can't remember exactly the name and the place where it was, but I met one more segment of this exhibition and it was about Ninze House that's situated in Moscow and it was constructed, if I remember exactly, in 1912 or 1913, right before the First World War, amazing building and a real treasure for any city where it could be constructed. And for myself, the main treasure was all this situation. I didn't used to learn something about architecture. I wasn't fond of it, but that was the opportunity that life gave me to explore something new and to inspire my friends with all the information that I I started to download in my head after this moment. So, I want to be that projector that tells you architecture is a really great thing. Even if you can't imagine that you can love architecture, just try to recognize some building. Just try to look through some details that it has on its facades. Because all these buildings are the part of your visual perception. Oh no. I found that a little bit radical and it could be sounding like I agitate you. No, no, no. I don't agitate you to love architecture. Just advising. Just providing my point of view. And my point of view has a really easy rule. Try to clean up your view as you can in the moment. For example... If you have a time to clean up your room, do this. If you can choose the best route that gets you to the subway, 
find time and make best from your road to the subway. If you can organize your desktop in a really rational way, but you're lazy to do this, just do this and you get anything done better. If you have any annoying details in your interior, get rid of them because they spoil your environment around you. Our eyes really love when we have a beautiful and rational and optimized environment. So do something good for yourself. That was my advice and my word about visual perception. If you did everything with your apartment, with your workplace or desktop, with all your roads, what next? And next gonna be architecture, because we have not a psychological podcast, but the Culture Digger podcast. So, when your view is clear enough, and when you try to discover something new in the places where you've been too many times, you'll be definitely surprised how beautiful or ugly vice versa can be the place that was too common for you too many years. But why that place became too ugly or beautiful? It depends on three factors. I think that architecture, work of architecture, is always in the triangle between function, form and culture. And the most dynamic parameter here is culture. Because only culture determines how the building is actually used in the moment of time and how it was used in the age when it was designed and constructed. And for my opinion, only architecture as type of art can give you such a bright picture of level of culture in the society, in some place, in some time, because public buildings are part of towns and cities and their destiny depends on decisions made by government and owners of these buildings. The wiser are all these people, the more masterpieces we can see in any city, town, in the countryside, anywhere. And money here does not play the first role, I'm sure in this, because there were too many examples of nice work of restorers that with small budget could make a wonder to save some really beautiful building that was completely damaged, that was unused maybe at the moment of restoration, and in opposite there were too many examples of wasting money on few objects in the city that were the most expensive to be restored. And exact these buildings, they didn't need any restoration. But city was in negotiations with some business representatives, they had some result, and after all this, there was some really cozy for these business representatives tender where they won and they did it. And after this hand played the strings, we can hear a sweet music of corruption. Oh, I made a mistake. We don't have such a music. Only sounds of someone escaping with the money. At the beginning of this episode, I couldn't compare architecture and music. But right now I have one more strange idea, so I think I can do this. I will compare architecture with pop music. So, in both spheres, you can't see too many people that were really involved in this project to make it possible for you. And you don't know their names. Maybe you know the name of the architect but not the name of every engineer, of every manager, of every worker, of everybody that was involved. Too many people make this project possible. But the sad truth is that after the construction finishes, there are not too many people that are thankfully remembered for their work. Names of main architect customer of construction and general contractor can really blink in news and then stay in history, like the name of singer and the title of the song with the year of its release, and maybe the music label, but not all the professionals from the background. So, my last advice is, 
If you want to start to recognize beauty of the concrete and marble, just stand in front of any building, keeping such a distance so you can look at it as comfortable as at the painting in some gallery. Hold on for a few seconds and if you feel that you like the view, try to know something about any of them can have incredibly unique story, you can trust me. And if you like the view more than expected, try to image it in your head with closed eyes and then compare with its actual look. Today I said too many weird things and didn't find a minute for the instead of that break, but I'm not shy of my today's awkward. I do feel emotions when I see nice architecture. So I made such an introduction episode to continue then about architecture with some details like genres or unique architects and their masterpieces and maybe something more intriguing. Because if you don't look at them, they are just boxes with doors on the first floor or on the ground floor in a more British way. I hope that I haven't made an impression of extra sensual and fragile artists from the snobbery land with these lots of advice, but I needed to speak about these things directly. And I didn't ask, what color do you hear in your cheeks? So until then, I feel myself complete fine. Many thanks to you, dear listener. I broadcast for you and your good time. And as always, I'm glad to any comments via Twitter. Bye.